Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials by DevDojo. In this video, we are going to start talking about some best practices, and we will have several parts of this video, and we will talk about a GET request and POST request. So, let's start with uh, the first best practice. Um, the name of your URL should be uh, plural, so we should call it uh, enemies, and uh, you can add this to project level dictionary if you are using IntelliJ and the second one is uh, for example if you have only one get request you can uh, remove the path as I said and then every time you access slash enemies it will return this so uh, we can try and see this working just start your project and now we have here only enemies and we go here we remove this slash enemies and we have the same result um let's uh, do a couple changes here because if we want to get uh, one enemy by id we need an id inside the domain anyway uh, first let's add here private int id uh, i'm going to remove uh, all of this gets and setters and i'm going to add here at data this will generate the gets and setters for us and all args constructor so I'm going to leave uh, like this and now I'm going here to anime controller I'm going to remove this guy from here I'm going to move somewhere else let's create a new repository package so call this package repository and inside repository just create a class called anime repository Okay, inside this anime repository, I'm going to create only one method that will return a list of anime. And let's call it a list all. I'm planning to get into databases later in this course, and it will be something like this. And uh, I'm going to copy these three guys right here. And I'm going to add one two and three okay now at anime controller we already have here our private uh, final for data to let's just add another one for uh, anime repository anime repository okay just make sure that everything is working just return anime repository dot list all and uh, you can restart your service. Let's see if it's working. Okay, so something wrong. We forgot to make this a Spring Bean. Let's use at repository. We are not using a real repository yet, but we will in the future. Okay, so what changes did we make? we removed uh, anime and we moved to animes the name and then we removed the list and we are only use get mapping every time i execute a get to enemies this will be the method executed and now uh, when we refresh we have the same values so from all of this there is only one thing uh, missing it's a best practice that you return the status code the http status code and right now we are just returning the this list you do have the status code so if you right click and you inspect uh, the element and you go to network and let me increase a little bit and you refresh the page you still have the 200 but when we are working with spring it's a good idea that we move this to a response entity and inside the response entity we tell what we are going to return for example a list of anime so by doing this if you go inside the, this response entity you do have the status and you can have several status created and not found um, internal server error and there are a couple ways of uh, that we have to create this response entity the first one for example response entity and we send this list all inside so list will always be difficult to fail in my case i rather return like an empty collection than return like not found when you are trying to get all and nothing exists 
and HTTP status not accepted but okay okay so I'm not sure what is okay I'm going to replace here so HTTP status okay it's 200 so the thing with status codes is pretty simple keep the pattern so if you return 200 every time you are uh, using a get don't change to for example 202 so make sure that you are always having the same pattern when you are using the status codes your front end team will be grateful for that so this is uh, one way of doing it uh, actually this will not change anything so if we reboot the, the application we will get exactly the same results here when we execute this URL again the same 200 you have the same response when we are executing internal calls uh, with spring you will see that there is a there is a difference another way to create this is response dot ok and you remove this status code and you remove the new so just by doing this remember we can build the project again or we can just click outside here and it will build again actually this is a new project I forgot to update classes and resources so by doing this I just clicked outside it will swap the classes and then we still have everything working so for this class this is everything that I would like to tell you let's uh, proceed to the next class where we are going to get the enemy by ID so I see you in the next video bye